I can't believe it, friends, but welcome to Vlogmas Day 24. Good morning, everybody. It is around 5 a.m. My hair is looking a little roosterish, and I mean, I'm just giving you the content that you all live for. I'm folding laundry. I know. Enthralling. Groundbreaking. Exciting. Earth shattering. Laundry folding. So, it is Christmas Eve morning. Is that even a thing? Well, I guess it is a thing because it is what it is. I have decided to break out a vintage 2017 Vlogmas robe. <laughs> yes, I do believe this was either 2000, it might be 2018. But this robe made an appearance, I think, in every Vlogmas that year. Restoration Hardware and Pottery Barn are the two best places to get your robes. I also just folded this shirt really poorly, so I'm gonna redo it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I am uh, folding some laundry that has been in the dryer for probably two days. Um, so I just like refluffed it when I woke up this morning. And now I'm finally getting around to folding it. How are all of you doing? What are your plans or festivities for Christmas Eve? I mean, are you traveling from the kitchen to the living room, then back to the dining room to see whoever is already in your house? Because I hope that we are all being responsible and safe this holiday season. What do I have planned today? Well, I actually don't have much planned at all. And I think that's partly the beauty of it all. Uh, I do want to do s'mores tonight with Steven with the s'mores maker that I bought from William Sonoma. It's really cute. I was able to get the burners a couple, like maybe a week ago. They were very hard to find, but excited to uh, be able to do that with the homemade graham crackers that I made this week. I think it'll be festive and fun. Then I might run some errands. I have Bubby's gifts to wrap. We didn't get him a lot. He's doesn't like toys, so we got him a toy anyway. One year, I think it was the first Christmas in this house, so I don't think I did have a YouTube channel yet, but we decided, I might be out of focus this whole time too, friends, and I'm really sorry. Um, we decided to get Bubby this $200 Go Bone. It's like an electronic shenanigans. It was supposed to be like, one of the top rated dog toys of the year. He absolutely hated it. He never once played with it. And we ended up returning it. So, he's just not big on toys. Once in a while, he'll pull something out and play with it. Look at this shirt. I love these so much this year. And so many of you bought them and have worn them. I will be wearing mine all the time. I'm obsessed with all the designs. Um, anyway, he just does not like toys. He's never been big on them. He'll grab one for like a second and then not touch it again. Tonight for dinner, I am going to do some homemade sauce and things and I'm just going to make a lasagna, some garlic bread, a big salad. And that is going to be our Christmas Eve meal this evening. I've not made a lasagna in ages. I actually cannot tell you the last time I made it. We're doing that this evening. I think I'm going to make a frittata 
for breakfast. I have everything I need. I set out the sausage to thaw last night, so hopefully that's all good to go. And yeah, I think that's about all that's happening right now. So on my personal Facebook page, I messaged everyone of my friends who live locally and neighbors and I said if anyone needs Christmas baked goods to just t message me and I'll leave them on the porch for you. So one of my colleagues is driving by this morning on her way to work and I'm going to put these out on the porch for her to take with her. And it's like a little mix of everything I baked. I am working on our frittata for this morning. I've already cooked the sausage. I have it draining on a paper towel and plate. And then I like to work within the same pan for this. So using the cooked off fat from the sausage, I'm just doing the onions, mushrooms, and peppers. Always cook your veggies a little bit because they're not gonna be in the oven that long to like get tender. So I like to always just do them in the same pan. I'm gonna do the same thing with the mushrooms, peppers, and onion. I'm going to put it on a plate with a paper towel. Now, super important, I am actually going to wait a while. It's only 6 a.m., so I have time. I'm gonna let this pan cool. I'll probably wipe it out, not clean it, but just like clean, wipe it out a little bit. If you're going to do it right away, you're gonna have to get another pan, because as soon as you pour your eggs in it, they're gonna burn if your pan is too hot. So that's just a, Thing I want to avoid, but I like to keep it all within this dish. So I'm gonna let this cool down. I'll whip up my eggs, throw it all in there together. We are back in action in the kitchen. I have my same pan, it's cold. I literally just wiped it out and sprayed it with a little cooking spray. And now I'm just gonna add our sausage back in. It's going to add our peppers, onions, and mushrooms. What's good about this is that you get off not only the extra oil and fat, but also any extra moisture that can make the frittata a little bit soggier. Okay, I'm just gonna evenly spread that throughout. And then based off of the size of your dish, some people use six eggs, I use 10, but I have probably a 12 inch baking dish that I'm using. And then I add just a little bit of half and half and then a little splash of non-fat milk that I always have in the fridge. Whip that up. I'm going to add a little bit of fresh ground pepper to my eggs and also some really high quality salt. The oven is preheating at 400. I'm just gonna pour this egg mixture now. I'm gonna top it with just a little bit of cheese, not too much. And then I'm gonna throw this in the oven for about 25 minutes and just keep checking it. And then typically I turn the broiler on a little bit at the end just to get it nice and browned on the top. It is 6.30 in the morning. I have folded two loads of laundry. I have breakfast made and in the oven. I have dishes going. I have the diffuser on. I have my floor swept. I have everything put away. I have everything cleaned and also get ready for it. There has been a Bubba's at the top of the steps all this time watching me cook. Good morning. Good morning, sunshine. Good morning, sunshine. How are you? You go do your business and I will get you breakfast. <gasps> Look at you, handsome boy. Look at you, handsome boy. Cookie? Good morning. Go enjoy it. Oh, it's a perfect Christmas Eve morning. So I just pulled out of the oven. It is beautiful. I also went out to my herb hut in the garage and pulled some fresh parsley that once it cools, I will put on top. What? Did they pick up their cookies and you barked at them? They picked up their cookies and you barked at them. That was not very nice. Hey, was it nice? Yeah, you were keeping us safe. The last day of this friend. 
<gasps> of course, it's Santa. I'm actually thinking for next year what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to, this is just a suggestion. I'm going to drill a tiny hole through it. Maybe I don't even have to drill a hole and use them as gift tags because they're all this plain wood in the back. That is my idea for next year. And the last day is the vanilla goat milk soap. Day 24 is the winter candle. I'm actually gonna burn this one today because I'm almost done with the other one. Pour some sugar on me. That's the last time we'll sing our theme song this year. These are the Heavenly Sours. Aww. They're beautiful little trees that are dusted with snow. Alrighty. So Steven is up. Bubby's been with me all morning. Yes. How's the frittata? It's very good. So we're eating breakfast. I had a mimosa. And we're just hanging out. Happy Christmas Eve morning. Happy Christmas Eve morning. Happy Christmas Eve morning where my gifts. We're gonna wrap them later. We're gonna wrap them later. We're gonna wrap them. And you're gonna open them tomorrow. You gonna open them tomorrow? Yes, it'll be Christmas morning. It'll be Christmas morning. You'll be so excited. Even at his old age, he still loves Christmas. Steven and I are watching Rachel Ray, and he is gathering inspiration for his next Rachel Ray recipe. No, I don't like artichokes. We're not having this. Sorry. Looks okay, but... What's your next recipe? Well, I don't know, you have dinner planned for the next couple days, so I'm off the hook until at least the day after Christmas. Hey, I'm trying to wrap your gifts. You need to, you need to scram. Go upstairs. Go upstairs, see daddy. Go upstairs, see daddy. I'm wrapping your Christmas gifts. Let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. No snooping. Go upstairs. I'm wrapping your gifts. Your presents, you can't snoop. You know snooping. No snooping. No snoops. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, I can't handle it. No snooping. A puzzle that I ordered from the New York City Public Library came today. I'm really excited about it. I think I might jump into it today. All right, salad is made, lasagna's in the oven. I set up our little s'mores kit from Williams-Sonoma. I made these graham crackers from scratch. These are the marshmallows we're gonna use today. I worked a little bit more on my puzzle. We have Home Alone going. We're gonna just enjoy our Christmas Eve. And so that we can do just that, I'm going to sign off day 24 of Vlogmas. And I will leave it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone until next time, which will be tomorrow, for the last day of Vlogmas 2020. Bye bye